Thanks for purchasing the Henry 4570 rail and ghost ring sight sets from Excess Sights. Today, we will walk you through their installation. Before installing, check to ensure the rifle is unloaded. Next, gather up your tools. You will need a hammer, some flat tip screwdrivers, a file, Q-tips, non-marring punch, blue thread locker, rubbing alcohol, and a vise. Degrease the barrel and front sight. Apply blue thread locker to the front sight ramp. Tighten the screw to 15 inch pounds. Test fit the front sight into the ramp. If it slides a third of the way into the dovetail with finger pressure, use your hammer and punch to drive it in. If not, using a file, take three passes on each side of the sight on a flat surface to remove material until it can slide a third of the way in. Center the sight with your hammer and punch applying a small amount of blue thread locking compound along the seams. Use Q-tips to gently remove any excess and let the sight cure for four hours before shooting. Degrease the mounting pillar and the dovetail in the barrel. Next, test fit using finger pressure. If it fits, use a hammer and punch to drive it the rest of the way. If not, use a file on a flat surface to gently take material off the bottom. Once it fits a third of the way in, use a hammer and punch to drive it into the center of the barrel. Apply blue thread locker to the seams of the dovetail. And to the touching edges of the rail. Place the rail on the barrel. Check to ensure the rear screw holes are centered. Once centered, Apply blue thread locking compound to the threads of the screws and screw them into the barrel. Next, apply blue thread locker where the rear sight will fit and to the screw threads. Install your rear sight. Next, insert the pillar jack screw into the mounting pillar through the rail. Afterwards, use a flathead screwdriver to install the pillar nut. Using a Q-tip, remove any excess thread locker. To maintain the finish on your rail, use some gun oil to clean and protect the rail's finish and ensure its durability for years to come.
decrease the barrel and front sight. Test fit the front sight into the ramp. If it slides a third of the way into the dovetail with finger pressure, use your hammer and punch to drive it in. If not, using a file, take three passes on each side of the sight on a flat surface to remove material until it can slide a third of the way in. Center the sight with your hammer and punch, applying a small amount of blue thread locking compound along the seams. Use Q-tips to gently remove any excess and let the sight cure for four hours before shooting. Once you're finished cleaning the sight, apply a layer of gun oil to protect the sight's finish. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of our helpful installation videos. Excess sights. We have the fastest sights in any light.